Now after you have registered your domain name, the first step you want to do is you want to point your domain name to your name servers of your hosting account. And if you don't have web hosting, I recommend going with HostGator because I've been with them for three years and without any problems they have been running my account. So it's hands free and you also can add unlimited domain names to your account. So it's great and it's cheap as well. So what the heck. So the first step you want to do is add your domain name to your hosting account and in order to do that you have to log into your hostings control panel and this is my hostings control panel right here that you see and inside that you need to click on add on domains okay now under add on domains basically what you have to do is you have to enter your domain name without HTTP okay you have to just enter your domain name for example if it's affiliate affiliate elite reviewed dot com if, if you've got such a domain name you just enter this okay and then you just press the tab button or you can just click on this here and then automatically these two fields are populated then you need to enter a password okay for FTP access for to this domain name you can just enter a secure password and just click on add domain after that okay now after you've done that what will happen is that if you've already pointed your name servers to this hosting account and then you've added your domain name now what will happen is your your website will start showing up okay now after you've added your domain name there's one more step you need to do here I'm back to my control panel what what you have to do is you have to install WordPress okay now WordPress is the foundation of our entire profit instrument this is where all the magic happens basically now in order to install WordPress you need to scroll down a bit it's extremely easy okay so you need to scroll down a bit and go to go to Fantastico okay so here we have it this is Fantastico so just click on Fantastico now after you've clicked on Fantastico you'll see a WordPress uh, link here so click on that Now after you've clicked on WordPress, you need to click on new installation. Now select from the list your uh, your actual domain name that you just added. Okay, for example, if you had affiliate elite review.com, you, you have to select from this uh, drop down box. Okay, you leave this blank if you're installing in the root. Okay, then enter your admin username and your admin password okay for example if you admin you, you can just keep any any username or password this will be your WordPress login uh, password for your ad administrator account okay so keep the password uh, a good secure one okay now you can keep any admin nickname I usually keep an admin okay you can keep any admin nickname now enter your admin email address which I usually keep as info at the rate the domain name that you just bought so if you had bought affiliate elite reviewed dot net you would enter info at affiliate elite reviewed dot net okay so this would be your admin email now the site name is very important okay now in order to add your site name what you have to do is you have to just write in your uh, domain name okay that's it you have to just add spaces in your domain name and that's it so if you had bought affiliate elite reviewed you would write affiliate elite reviewed okay that's it now why I'm saying that is because this includes our product name keyword inside and also the parameter so it's spot on in terms of uh, domain relevancy to the main main key uh, site name okay so we have the product name keyword inside it and we also have another parameter so if you had bought affiliate elite dot net so you would just add affiliate elite that's it that would be a site name and the description also you would add uh, something like affiliate elite um, let's say if you're if you're writing a review on affiliate elite in your website you'd write uh, read our exclusive exclusive affiliate elite review or something like this okay so the main thing to keep in mind is you have to have your product name keyword once in the description okay and, and keep the description a little uh, about 10 10 words max okay 10 to 12 words and use the product name keyword once in the description okay now after you've entered all these details just click on install WordPress now after you've done that 
another button will come up to finish installation and that's it that's all you have to do after you click these two buttons your WordPress will be installed you don't have to go in and do any create any database and everything is done automatically okay so this is as simple as it is to install WordPress now I think this is enough for this video because in this video we have covered how you can add your domain name to your hosting account and then how you can install WordPress to your domain name okay so after you have installed WordPress then comes the easy part then you have to configure your WordPress uh, your WordPress site so in order in order to uh, so how you can do that I'll, I'll tell you in the next video so I'll see you then thanks